what is particularly astounding in the research that both you and I are about to review is the secondary outcome was probably, if not even a little bit more amazing than the primary outcome. The backstory, what researchers want to do is they want to see if the combination of bergamot and artichoke extract can yield a decent reduction in LDL cholesterol over a 60 day period of time. Marginal amounts, didn't have to take a lot, but they wanted to see if it worked. Well, to cut to the chase, it did. It resulted in about a 17 point drop in LDL after 60 days. And I think a 13 point drop in total cholesterol. But the cool part about that as well is what else happened. And what happened was as follows. A drop in body mass index, a drop in visceral adipose tissue or basically abdominal fat and a drop in fat mass. Now the Interesting part about that as well, no change in diet, no change in activity or exercise levels, and it's all very well tolerated. I mean, we're just talking about artichoke and bergamot. So basically a really cool combination with just a phenomenal secondary outcome. But with that in mind, let's get into the study. We'll go into the dosages and stuff like that used in the particular study on its own towards the end. But first, let's look at the results of the study to begin. The backstory. Botanicals are natural alternatives to pharmacological therapies that aim at reducing hypercholesterolemia. In this context, despite bergamot being effective in modulating lipid profile, subjects fail to achieve a satisfactory response to supplementation. So henceforth, see if you had a little artichoke and see if you get the benefits. The aim of the study was to evaluate whether the association of 600 milligrams of bergamot and 100 milligrams of artichoke leaf standardized dry extract can be an alternative in patients with mild hypercholesterolemia, to say that faster, sounds better, who are more poor responders to bergamot in a two month randomized controlled trial. 60 overweight adults were randomized into two groups. 30 were supplemented, 30 received a placebo. The metabolic parameters and dexic composition were evaluated at the start of 30 and 60 days. Between the two groups, the total and LDL cholesterol in the supplemental group, supplemented group, compared to placebo, showed a significant decrease over time, a significant reduction in waist circumference and visceral adipose tissue was recorded in the supplemental group compared to placebo, even in subjects who did not follow a low calorie diet. In particular, total cholesterol levels in the supplement group showed a decrease over time of 13 points. By contrast, the placebo group recorded an increase. The LDL cholesterol and the supplementation group also showed a decrease over time of 17 points with the placebo group raised just one point. HDL cholesterol levels in the supplement group showed an increase over time of 4.39 points and the placebo group recorded a decrease. The interact, uh, interaction treatment for time was statistically significant. Now, here we go into the secondary outcome. The beauty about being a secondary outcome is the fact there's less room for intentional bias. You still want to make sure there's no confounding, meaning something that could just creep its way in that wasn't anticipated. So you want to see this reproduced in larger trials, but still just the same, it was a secondary outcome. They weren't even looking for it. This is just, by the way, by the way, the person tend to lose a lot of uh, you know, waist circumference, fat mass, body mass index to proceed as follows. The same trend was observed for BMI. In particular, the BMI decrease was statistically significant at negative 0.486 kilograms in the treatment group. Regarding waist circumference, there was a statistically significant decrease of negative 1.355 centimeters. Remember, no change in diet, no change in activity. As far as we know, negative 1.355 for the supplementation group. Specifically regarding fat mass, the estimated marginal mean showed a reduction of negative 1,133 grams. Keep in mind we're talking grams. Negative 1,133 grams in the supplemented group. Another beneficial effect was measured for visceral adipose tissue, VAT, with a statistically significant reduction in the supplementation group of negative 
107.161 grams. Then in the control group, there was actually a slight increase. Regarding safety assessment, laboratory tests performed at baseline and end of treatment did not reveal undesirable concerns and no relevant adverse effects were recorded. The association of artichoke and bergamot phytosome was well tolerated with good compliance. Now we're going to go delve into the discussion. Now there can be a lot of uh, hypothesis uh, predicating why this actually occurred per se, like detoxification effects, so on and so forth. I want to avoid getting into that. I just want to focus on the outcome itself without interjecting any particular publisher bias. But still, the results were just amazing. But to proceed with the discussion. The two-month supplementation with the artichoke and bergamot phytosome supplement led to a statistically significant reduction of body weight and waist circumference. Successful weight loss was confirmed by the reduction of fat mass in the visceral adipose tissue in the supplemented group. This is a relevant result, considering that the VAT is associated with metabolic syndrome and cardiovascular disease and is also an independent risk factor for all cause, cause, all cause mortality. The management of VAT is a pivotal result as VAT can now be considered an endocrine organ orchestrating crucial interactions with vital organs and tissues such as the brain, liver, skeletal muscle, heart, and blood vessels. So you see basically where the health benefits, yeah, you may feel better and lose some abdominal body fat, but still just the same by the reduction in that visceral adipose tissue, other health markers begin to rise and become more positive as well. So it's gone beyond just a reduction in cholesterol uh, and other cosmetic aspects and avenues. It is actually improving health overall. And what do you see? It wasn't necessarily a lot taken, but to proceed with that. In this study, bergamot poor responders with mild hypercholesterolemia not only sh showed not only an improvement in lipid profile, but also a healthy management of fat storage as demonstrated by a VAT and waist circumference reduction. And this part is just still amazing to me because these are significant, significant benefits without any external changes in lifestyle to proceed. It is interesting that the weight reduction and change in body composition occurred without the subjects following a low calorie diet. In fact, the patients were asked to maintain their eating habits which were characterized by a varied diet. And keep in mind, they're all obese individuals get into the study. So they wanted to change the diet at all, yet, still, without even trying, except for the consumption of the bergamot and artichoke, these results were obtained. Now, to give you a little bit of a, of a breakdown real fast, this is, I'll just grab this real fast, this is the actual, actual composition of what they supplied the individuals. Uh, for the clinical study, 600 milligrams of bergamot, phytosome, and 100 milligrams of artichoke. Uh, standardized leaf extract were formulated. And it goes into the top formula. Not going to go through the whole thing. You can read it on your own. And I'm sure, possibly, it could be made a unit a little cleaner, but still just the same. There it is. Uh, the supplementation re uh, regimen or regime, regimen, regime, regime change, regimen, was two tablets daily, one before lunch, and one before dinner for two months. That is it. Tablet of 600 milligrams of bergamot with 100 milligrams of artichoke extract. And then another tablet before dinner. One tablet before lunch. One tablet before dinner. And that was it. And that was the results. Now, the thing about it is amazing is this study, for example, is published, but it didn't make basically, basically into the news press per se. Yet, when you get past even the cholesterol going, well, another thing that's going to help me, you know, lower my uh, markers down to the, appear better uh, on a cholesterol profile. But beyond that, the secondary outcome, the visceral body fat, the uh, basically fat mass all, total, the uh, body mass index, all those markers improving without a change in any dietary intake or, or activity levels, that's just incredible. A lot of hypothesis, you can say it's detoxification, liver, and so on and so forth, and so on, or maybe the LDL went down because the, vis the visceral adipose tissue went down, but 
to the layperson, this is freaking incredible. Again, I'll have a link to the research as well. Hope you find this information of use. Uh, you and I are basically the first to know of this combination, per se. And for that, gratitude to the researchers and humble that you watch. And I'll catch you all next time. Bergamot, artichoke, 600 milligrams of bergamot phytophytosome, one milligrams of artichoke dry leaf extract. That's basically what it was. One tablet before lunch, one tablet before dinner, and voila. All right, catch you all next time. See you then.